Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're all right there in your hospital bed, David. Hello to everyone else. <clears throat> I did some water removal yesterday and took out some of the rocks that were down that end just to see what's going on with the substrate. I found two dead platy down this end. I moved a large rock that the bristle nose pleco likes to hide in from over here to over there, obviously. And there's a dead gourami. Oh, I suppose that's not too bad going. It's been going, this tank's been going for about six months now. And they're the only, well, three that I've had a come across that have deceased. Uh, Button, what are you doing in there? Is he inspecting it? Is it all right? My uh, testing kit, some old rags, dishcloths, you know, the type of thing. Some treatments, some food, some cleaning equipment, and then some bag of floss for the scrubber that's in there at the moment. I've obviously got the canister turned off, as you can see. Um, need to give the glass a really good clean. I've got some sand. I'm going to add some more sand. It's about time I top the sand up. Uh, but first of all, I need Mr. Shrimp or Mrs. Shrimp to stop feeding and I can get that dead baby out. Oh, it's hor always horrible to see, but these things happen. Um, you can't get up on top now, can you? I've robbed you of your bed. You've got your bean bag. Marvel loves the bean bag. It's his favourite spot at the moment. But Lyra and Ninja love it up on top of the fish tank. Got them a nice little uh, bedroom set up there. So today I'll be working on this. I also moved that plant. That plant was over here, but you couldn't really see it. So I've moved it over to this end with its counterpart. And these plants are doing fantastic. Growing really quick. I've been doing some trimming. She bought me a little aquascaping kit. Tiny, just a little couple of tweezers. This one's come in really handy. Because sometimes roots pop up. And I can use that to push them back down into the soil. And then I've got my scissors there for cutting off dead leaves right down at the base of the stems and that's worked out really well because my arms aren't long enough to get into this tank it's a bit big for me because I'm only little um, it's as tall as I am and um, it's deeper than my reach so she then I bought me them as a surprise gift which is lovely so I'll get on with that today I'm gonna have to fill it up slowly over the next week a couple of inches a day Otherwise, they'll get shocked by the temperature change. And then uh, we'll see how we look. But it's all doing really, really well. I had a lot of advice from people. One of the best pieces of advice I got was turn off blue. Turn off the blue with your lighting. So I've got two lights in here. Right. Uh, that one. And this one. That's not a very good shot, though. Like I told you, I can't. <laughs> it's as tall as I am. I've got two lights in there. So that one's on a, a bright orange. This one looks white. It is white. But I've turned the blue off in the spectrum of that light. And the algae's all disappeared. Yeah, in fact, it disappeared over a matter of no time at all. There's still some on the rock there. But it's it's always had it. And it's it's quite pretty. I don't mind it. But it's not all over the glass and it's not all over the the background. And it's just certainly not all over the, the plants either. Right, this is going on long enough and it's terribly boring. But I just thought I'd let you know how I'm getting on with this tank. Just a bit of um, maintenance going on. And I've had to do it this way because it's too big for me. I didn't think it through properly, but I've got some... I've got some tools and I've got my ladder 
Got me lift my steps there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sucks being short. Anyway, that'll do for now. Oh, these tools have made life so much easier. That was a doddle. I managed to follow the stems down from the leaves right to the bottom there. As close as I could. It's hard to see from up top. But it'll do. And they're going to be no different than house plants. You give them a trim and they'll fight back. Plus, you get rid of all these horrible things. The plant's not putting the energy into trying to keep them alive when they're hopeless. So that'll do a good job. I've got some root tabs that I'm going to poke in. I'll cut them in half. I did put some in beneath the plants when I put them in originally. And I put I did put a few down the back there when I put that grass in. But there aren't any anywhere else. And because that grass has started to spread, which is great. I love it. It's hard to see on video. Um... I'm gonna put some root taps in, but I'm gonna chop them up a little bit and put them in in small little bits, dotted around that area there. And I've got some bark that's poked its head up from the soil substrate. It's come through the sand. I'll see if I can try and siphon that out. It doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna put some more sand in and it's not harmful at all. It doesn't look very nice and it will work its way up again. I'll see. I might leave that for another time. I think I'll just, actually, I think I'm just gonna put the sand in. Give the glass a really good clean and top it up a couple of inches. Let it settle over a day or two. And then top it up another couple of inches until we're back to where we were. But I'm really happy with it. It's all looking good. All right, three fatalities. Um, it's to be expected. You buy fish from a local fish store. They're not all going to survive. It's just a fact of life and death. But uh, there we go. I was a little bit upset. I always am when I see a dead fish. But I'll get over it. You're all looking good. No wick. No cotton mouth, no fungus, no fin rot, no nothing. It's all looking really good. So there, I think I'll leave it there. Or I might come back after I've cleaned the glass and topped it up a little bit. Anyway, I'll decide later.